What is up guys, it's Solid Nate, and today I'm going to be playing the PC game Serpents in the Staglands. I found this game on Steam, and I'm a huge fan of games like Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, Icewind Dale, games like that. And also I heard it's a really difficult game, so I said, okay, this, this is probably right up my alley. So I bought it. And after playing for 45 minutes, guys, I'm probably never going back to it. So let me know if I'm missing something, but in my opinion... Serpents in the Stag Land sucks. Let's get to the game and we can see why. Didn't mean to hit that. Alright, what's up everyone? I just downloaded this game on Steam called Serpents in the Stag Lands. And I figured I'd go on here and play a little bit, so... I think I'm gonna take the webcam off, but I just want to start it out by, you know, having the webcam on. I'm gonna get the webcam out of here, so let's let's do this. Let's start a new game and see what happens. Alright. Start new game, let's see what happens. When the gods were formed and you claimed the moon as your dominion, which god did you ally with? Okay. Nurtures and heals, the trickster jet no, the god of forging who is wrapped in flames. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Nice notice we could still have the webcam on for this section here. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Eh. Alright, we'll do that. It's for a little bit. I just don't want to take away the gameplay uh, screen too much. Oh, yeah, and here's already a disaster happening. Okay. Boom. Okay, we're good. And when you peered through the clouds one night and saw a small fleet of boats tossing in the rocky waters near the coast of the Staglands, lost and despairing, why did you reach down and part the clouds so your moonlight could guide their way to safety? <clears throat> Number one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and I wish to see such spirit quenched. I would not have wished for so many to die when I had the power to change their fate. That sounds like a good thing. Knew such an act would inflame gratitude and love in the hearts of several generated no. Sheer coincidence, I'm afraid if the world is in a state of just to think of service. I'm gonna say number two. Yeah. So, the reason I wanted to get this game, by the way, is because I feel like it's a lot like Baldur's Gate, and I'm a huge Baldur's Gate fan, I love it. So, let's see how this game is, though. When you first set foot in the Staglands and showed yourself to the new settlers, what animal shape did you take on? <clears throat> a black furred wolf, a stinking red eyed lynx, a great white tailed fox, a magic four horned. Um, either the first or the third. Let's say, let's say a three. I don't, I don't want all this followed by my pack stuff going on. I'm kind of a loner. The Xana that you seduced. After a winter solstice festival, what gift did you leave behind as you slipped away from her as the moon disappeared into the dawn? A white rose, a singing wisp, a sparkling citrine, good memories. Honestly, if just knowing myself, probably just that. Let me turn this volume down a little bit. Just for me. Alright, so I'm thinking we're going to get into the part of the game where I will take the webcam away at this point. I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do that, so. Alright. <clears throat> it's just the game taking up the screen now. My lord Nikolai, what's happening? Why are you still here? Have you laid here all night in such a state? Finally. Have you done airline? My visit of a most serious nature. Something has happened. Oh, okay. I have to read this part. I'm glad to see you can stand. Are you continuing your celebrations? I'd invite you to assume a mortal form and share a cup of cafare, but I believe you drank all of mine last night. As you masqueraded amongst my villagers, were you turned down by all the pretty maidens? 
have done, Erline, my visit is of most serious nature. Something has happened. Forgive me, my lord. Priest, tell me your tale. As I was casting spells to open my portal to return to the moon, I forced, found myself blocked. As if my portal was unlinked. I laid here most of the night ethereal. <laughs> Trying every spell I knew. <clears throat> that is a grave indeed. Do you have any suspicions regarding who might have closed your portal? In my stupor, I dreamt of a dame in a cloak with green eyes. She was reading my past from a tome, as if she was reading an eulogy. Could this be a prank in bad taste? Yes, but may have done at the hands of another god. This cannot be the work of a mortal. Possible, but I know of no one who would do such a thing. My portal was an ancient gift and not easily tampered with. Even more serious, then. This is very text-heavy. I'm already going to say that. Very text-heavy, guys. My brother's ascribed to the counselors, you know, being skilled with letters and has told me some things. Small things that seem odd. A missing counselor. Spirits pouring from their chasms. Insults traded between places, races and places of power. And when is the mortal struggle not filled with bad tidings? Nay, you were right. This must be a matter of the gods. Maybe I'm jumping at my own shadow, but how can I aid you, my lord? I cannot open your portal to get you home, and without a better guard than my scroll-bound acolyte, I cannot create anything, any real sanctuary here. As dangerous as it may be for you to brave travel in mortal form, for you know you can be slain as such, I fear it is your only way of finding any answers. You know more of this land than I, as my visits have been more pleasure-bent than observant. I trust to your wisdom. Uh... Sure. What form will my lord take while traveling the Staglands is immortal? Let me consider the choices. Yeah, let me know. Oh. Alright, guys. Now here is where we create a character. This has always been a fun part about Baldur's Gate and stuff. We can do whatever we want to do. So. Hmm. Weeper's Horned Ladies. Or Frost Jackal. You can change your race. Look at that. Hmm. <clears throat> I think my favorite looking person was probably this. Uh, okay. Just look, creating a purple fog. Okay. They primarily fish their plentiful waters and are expert boat riders, chemists, engineers. Long peace times. They are one of the most advanced races, and their achievements include long boats. Uh, let's see. I'm reading really quick here. Okay. Well, so I can put some more stuff into stuff. Let's get... Oh, okay. Um, hmm. It's hoping to decrease some of these. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I can pick different guy. I like this guy. He's cool. But... What if I want to, like, get rid of some of the points? No, you can't? Hmm. How does that work? This is all the customization I can do? <clears throat> Available s stat points remain after character creation. You may distribute at any time after. Skills and spells can be found. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I'm looking all around, guys. I don't see a way to uh, decrease that, so. Huh. Well, I guess. Enter a name. Oh, where? <laughs> um, create a character. Oh, okay, you can look at You can change how his head looks. Okay. Unshaken. Let's read this. Oh. Um. Nah. Fireweaver. Oh. Increase in attack speed and attack. Nah, I like just the regular. That sounds fine. But yeah, they say enter a name, but I'm not really seeing that. Oh, maybe down here? Uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. And this is where our story ends.
story. Oh, okay, I can reset the stats, but you can't like divvy them up differently, you know? Huh. Okay, so that seems to be working, but. Uh, maybe I'll put my webcam back on. <laughs> just because I'm just like struggling here. Uh, how do you enter a name, guys? That's the big question of the day. Do we need to look up how to enter a name? Because that, to me, that's like almost grounds for just saying heck with the game, man. Ty oh, type name here! Jeez, it took me that long. This is going to be an interesting playthrough. Okay, so what's this guy's name going to be? Um, hmm. Jar Jarvis. How about that? Jarvis. Yes, I like it. Okay, I'm good, right? He looks like a Jarvis, doesn't he? That's a name you hear sometimes. Okay. Use your character to allocate your skill points. You'll want companions to protect you and give you consequence. You can certainly hire mercenaries to join you once you depart the temple, but you can also create some additional avatars now to accompany you for the time being. Uh, sure, I'll create another avatar now. Oh wow, I can just have new people. Okay, let's definitely make a check. This is going to be Ashley. It's a nice name, isn't it? Create a character. Okay, change her head. Well, we need to make a prettier person. Let's see. She's so far the prettiest. What else do we got? This one has a certain look to her. I kind of like it. Yeah, this looks very Baldur's Gate-like, or Icewind Dale, or something like that. Like, look at these drawn. It looks so old school, you know what I'm saying? It looks so old. Alright, so, my favorite girl is probably... I'm gonna go with her. I like her. I'm not gonna read all the stuff. Uh, Faithful. Not a necessity, not... Okay. Well, I mean, you would think that just strength is just the best thing to have, you know? I don't know. Oops. Sure, strength. Okay, I'm ready. And that's enough companions. I'll seek out companions as I may. As you like, my lord. Our strongest acolyte, Catalina, if you wish to engage Wilhelm. You'll find him wandering about this floor. Catalina's out in the courtyard working in the gardens. Pray send them back to the temple when you can, as they are both important to the temple and rather fond of Wilhelm especially. I'll do what I can. Mayhap they'll prefer my company. Okay. You know, it'd be funny to... I don't know if they're actually saying stuff out loud. But if they are, I'm totally missing it because it's pretty quiet, you know, like, it's probably nice and loud for you guys listening, uh, but yeah, it's pretty quiet from where I'm at. So we'll have to see if we want to keep this webcam up. I was planning on just having this be a gameplay only, but so far, let me tell you guys, there is nothing over there. It's just a black thing, so it's like, well, we may as well have the webcam up then, you know? I feel like a lot of people like having webcams when they watch these things, but... If it, got, if it gets in the way of the gameplay, we'll take it down. I'm doing a lot of hiccuping because I have this uh, green tea. I'll give you some emeralds, but I can't take too many from the temple purse without arousing suspicion. It's trust no one. Nice. Your aid has been invaluable. Thank you. Um... Say you're a merchant, and when you're ready to leave, meet me outside the doors in the courtyard. We shouldn't risk being seen together, now that you're in mortal form. Anyone with enough knowledge to know of your portal must know that you'd come here first, and spies may be lurking in the shape of temple visitors. Very well, we'll meet then. 
Okay. Well, we are we have two people. The resolution is extremely low. This is interesting. Um There's nothing up there except for like just a couple candles. I could honestly make my webcam really small and keep it there. But yeah, man, you're not you're, there's nothing's being missed, so perhaps later we can move it down or whatever we need to do, but right now it's not affecting anything. But he was do not allow time to converse, excuse me. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can just open this up. Whoa, what's going on? Writing tools, torch. Let's pick some stuff up. Uh, where do you hail from? My family left after a band of raiders from the Spirelands, destroyed our home and burned our farm, and we moved to Emerald Malice, blah, blah, blah. I have more questions. Well, where do you hail? <laughs> I already asked him that. Okay, and we, we pretty much have it. Okay, see ya, man. I didn't actually listen to or read what he said, but but yeah, guys, it's definitely reminded me of Baldur's Gate so far, for sure. Um, Lumen Accolade. Okay, so. All right, well, we're just looking around here. See, see what we can find. Oops. I don't know why I decided to wreck that. My bad. But yeah, definitely this seems like a game that I'd be interested in. Um, I'm not streaming it because I don't think it'd be a game to stream. You know, it looks like just an old school like uh, RPG, kind of like Baldur's Gate was. You know, stuff like that. So, and I don't know if they wanted me to create a bunch of characters. You know. But I just figured I'd just go with what I have, a couple people, and we'll see what happens. I mean, look at these ugly people I have. There's Wilhelm. I see there is some music playing. I can't hear it because it's very quiet here, but... Okay, uh, Wilhelm. Perhaps that's who I should have spoke to. Let's go speak to Wilhelm. What do you do here? Erlen City might be willing to escort me to Emerald Would you? Yeah. He's handy with throwing elixirs, and he's a good woodsman. My mom and pa would often send me out to set traps before I joined the order at the temple. I love your beloved woods. Bind Wilhelm's soul to your bidding. Wow. I mean, why would why would he be so willing to do that? I'll just yeah, come on, let's go. Your new companion hastily packs the satchel for the road, and you are on your way. Well, that's nice of you, Wilhelm. Okay, so look at, look at this guy. He's the ugliest of the bunch. Uh, whoa, what just happened? Somehow exited out. <laughs> Very temporarily. Stormaster. Okay, so we can buy stuff. I can sell you some supplies if you're in need. Here, hold on, hold on a second, guys. One second. Get this down here. Oop. There we go. There's a whole bunch of unnecessary webcam space there, so I decided just to chop it off. All right. We can move that over even further yet if we want, eventually. Uh, let's check it out. So what do I even have? This is just a knife. He has what? A herb, herb kit, healing potion. So I have 250 gold, right? Or how do I even see? I'm looking like this is 250. Or 50 do I have? I don't know. But do they give me anything? You know, like do, they, do I have anything here at all? Hard to know what these tool tips do in all this. How do I get out? Here we go. Um, let's see. What does this all say? Attack. Stop. Stop. Where's my inventory? How about I? Is that, yep, I does it. So all I have is a little knife. Wow. What, what does she have? Ashley just has a little knife and he just has a little knife. 
So this guy actually has something, though. He has padded leather armor and a cloak. I don't think we have anything, though. So we really should buy something. So I actually heard this game is very tough. So... Yeah, let's take a peek. Um, it, it doesn't seem like he has a lot of stuff here, though. I mean, what does he have? A, a couple potions. What? <laughs> okay, so I have some torches. Right, I should have had that, yeah. I can only afford one of those things. Amazing. Hmm. Well, okay. I guess that's it. Let's get out of here then, hey? Eh? So let's get out probably in the courtyard, maybe. I don't know. Oops. Hold on, sorry about that. Alright, Luminacle. We're just going to skip talking to all the guys. I don't want to talk to them all. But yeah, so far, definitely giving me those Baldur's Gate vibes. It's old school, though. Like, why'd they make the graphics so old school? I don't know that. Crazy. Multi different spices. You, your acolytes do quite well for themselves. Well, very good. Master Airline keeps the fortress safe from raiders and natives and beasts of the forest. But leave the protection of the temple and you'll find yourself at the mercy of the wilds. There's an outpost known as Lebes where caravanners gather and a traveler like yourself might find like-minded bodies. Okay. Farewell. Oh, I keep on wanting to use my... <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to go to settings or, you know, like where's the settings at? I don't know. Inventory is I. Journal. Journal, okay. Yeah, man, this is very just like Baldur's Gate. Nothing over this this way. There's a person. What are you studying? See, so yeah, I, I didn't read it because it was useless. <laughs> I don't know. He basically said he's studying some stuff. That's pretty much what he said. Okay, so here's one more guy. A Lumen Cook. Let's talk to this guy. Can you talk to him? No, he's not. He's not willing to talk. Water's boiling in the pot. A roasted duck. A roasting duck. Another game this reminds me of, even though I've never played that game too much, is Ultima Seven. The graphics look similar, and the graphics look similar because the graphics on that's like a Super Nintendo game, dude. All right. Funny how they made this game just recently. It just came up. Some creatures might be fiercer at night than during the day. Erline is standing near the gates with a scroll in hand, bags packing several worry lines, creasing his brow. He hails you and Jarvis steps forward. Yeah. I might be all but a prank. It might all be but a prank, but I cannot shake a feeling that dark times are upon us. It seems unwise to draw attention to yourself, so I've prepared a few items for you. I think it's best to travel as a spicer. They're known as the curious type of merchant that moves freely and asks many questions. Perfect for you in your search for whoever means you ill. I can do that. A spice, a spice merchant visited recently and left behind her documents, granting her rights of trade. I hope you guys can hear me because the game volume seems loud too. I'm afraid we couldn't locate them when she returned looking for them. A pity. But I'll give you them so that she, you will not be questioned, even in consoles and guide houses. Skill houses. Uh, anyone I should avoid? I cannot fathom who you... <laughs> who would mean you harm, but it would be safest to trust no one, even the Arbiters and Vinkins. Vikings. 
You cannot know what master pulls their strings. I wish I could be a better guide for you, but I know your enemies. I, but you know your enemies, or lack thereof, as well as I. I only fear that they will find you before you find them. You seem prepared to travel yourself. I live immediately to Corum. Your attacker might have more brewing than a locked portal, and where better to hide a plot than in that city? If I find anything, I'll try to get you word. Oh, and if you need help, you might seek my brother in the Emerald Metallus Consul Library. I'll give you a map. I doubt you'll find much in the northern districts. The lands are so sparsely settled they would barely warrant a local government. Sounds good. So I don't know. It looks like I have room for five characters total. I have three already. Three traveling companions. I'm thinking I could definitely get into this game eventually because Baldur's Gate dude is just very precious to me so and this game is like that so I don't know it's possible I could really get into it some ducks <laughs> so it's kind of just starting out basically the story that I gathered from this is I had some stuff planned someone tried to mess up my portal and then here we are. So, again, it looks as if there's a perfect place for a webcam up in that upper left corner. I can make my face a little bit smaller here, but there is nothing really going on in the screen, so I kind of just like it as it is. It's not the best, most professional look. A fox unhurt. Oh my gosh, a whole bunch of stuff, dude. They're attacking me. Fox does four damage to me. Yeah. So yeah, I heard this game is super, super... Hard. I don't even know if my knife is equipped and stuff. I don't know. Um, I'd like to get out of here and save. Is there a bunch of F5 is quick save? Let's try to save. Oh, load new game, leave game. What? Let's see if I can set for the road here. Oh, jeez, now. Can we get out of here? I don't want to fight because, man, I heard this game is really tough. Oh, look. Fane unhurt. A flame-haired man in a traveler's garb waves eagerly to you as you near the entrance of the courtyard. The hilt of the sword is only half covered below his cloak, but his face shows no signs of malice, curious as to his insistence in speaking with you. I'll step forward. Hail, Spicer. Leaving the temple? Can I ask what business brought you here? Lumen Fortress is always gracious to open stored for traders. None of your concern, stranger. Um, I shall say that. I just happen to be traveling there myself from Lumen Tar. Good business, that festival. Indeed. Well, Erlan and Dudley ran his stocks dry. Might be in the need of some meat or care if that's true. Pedaling. Yeah. The temple certainly takes care of its people. Praise the Moon Lord. Between you and me, I'm looking to speak with Erlan. Is he at the temple now? Yeah, this is tough. Remember they said, don't trust anyone. I'm not the kind of person that lies. I'm gonna lie though. <laughs> is that so? How unfortunate. So you happen to talk with Lord Erlen? That is convenient. Yeah, I did talk with him. Well, you seem to be, to have done well for yourself, seeing as you look about near empty of supplies. Thank you for your help, Spicer. Moon's Lord's blessings, farewell. Oh, look, he's probably going to die. <laughs> Let's watch him. Let's see. Oh, geez, what cap? What happened? I ex oh, my gosh, he just got killed. Damn. Well, he can't be a threat anymore. <laughs> he's dead. Okay, and I escaped. Interesting, huh? <laughs> that guy got rocked. Kind of my fault, too. Okay, so can we save now? Save, yes. So what I always like to do is I like to name it Solid's Quest 2019, even though it's gonna be 2020 so soon. Uh, as, I, as I record this, it's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day at 10.43 p.m. Just to give you guys some perspective. That's, that's what it is where I'm at right now. Uh, I just got done doing a stream, live stream, on my channel. 
of the game Ghosts and Demons. We didn't, didn't really have a ton of success. But, uh, here, hold on. Now, before we go any further... What is... Now, let me see. Can I put this in my... Okay. Nobody was equipped, so now he is, though. But he still has nothing, dude. Oh, they all share an inventory, don't they? Ooh, okay. Dude, we don't have any stuff. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing we didn't try to fight all those wolves. Damn. What does that do? What is it? Oh, okay, elixirs. Maybe I want to give this to this guy. How about we try this? Jarvis can put it on. I don't know. We need some better weapons, though, man. I thought I was supposed to get all that stuff figured out. Let's continue on the quest here. What is that? Sure, let's go in there. How do, how do I get in? Wilhelm. Settler. Alright, we're gonna walk in here. This guy seems like he has some stuff, right? Um. I'd like to take a look. I just want like a knife, man. I only have 24 gold, so how am I supposed to survive this? A shovel. Um, you would think that'd be a nice weapon. A shovel would be fine. How much is it? A value of five bucks. I can't really afford it. Should we try to buy it? Okay, I just picked up a shovel. Something tells me that's not what I want. Provides good insulation, it's diet. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't have any money for this stuff. How do you select all? Possibly, okay, V does that. Okay, got it. That'll be something we use a lot, I think. A huge child. So here I am, man. We need to fight some stuff and get some money. We have no money. Can we fight this oxen? <laughs> nah. We should almost go back to where we came. And fight all those wolves and stuff. I think we're going to lose, though, if we do. A large rat. Attempt to communicate? Um... You can understand the thoughts of the rat. <laughs> That's funny. So the rat, there must be someone that can communicate with the rat, I don't know. Weird. Ooh. I'm trying to start a fight, actually. Alright, so I've moved on again. I don't know where I'm at. There must be a world map. It appears the game has everything. Spells. Oops, nope, I don't want to do that. Okay, so where is the map? Okay, yep, here we go, map. Um, hmm, very strange. Okay, hey, look, a goblin. Let's fight it. Can I can I beat it? We'll see. We got it. <clears throat> and we have a healing fungus. Another goblin. Let's crush it. Bunch of goblins coming here, man. Kill all the goblins. This looks like a very Dungeons and Dragons type of game, dude. Getting that healing fungus, but where's my gold? Let's go to my inventory. Did not get any gold, dude, so. We need some money, man. He's the only guy that has a weapon. It's just a kitchen knife. Okay, this might be where we lose. Yeah, man, she's getting her ass kicked. Just like Baldur's Gate, if you press pa uh, the space bar, it pauses it. V. Boom. Fight it. She died. 
Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, we're all dead. Oh, they actually survived. Well, she she's destroyed though. Look at her. She's like decapitated. I got an edible heart. Wow, man. She's like out of my party. It's not like her picture isn't even there anymore. So this game's kind of crazy like that. Look, I I heard it was really hard. Remember people saying that. There's definitely a steep learning curve for sure. So. I'm kind of intent. I don't even know if I want to kind of continue this anymore. Oh yeah, I saw those red eyes in the distance. Um, it seems pretty impossible. I mean, you, the enemies aren't dropping any money. I don't have any weapons. You know, uh, what, what am I doing wrong? You know, like what happened? There's a bunch of stuff here we could sell. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do sell some of this stuff, but I didn't see anybody selling weapons, though. See, I don't know, man. I think this is one of those games that kind of has a deep learning curve. Um, I'm going to load the game because we, we don't want to have one of our characters dead already. You know what I'm saying? Load it. Okay. Yeah, we can't handle a character dying already. And maybe it was recommended to create more characters than just the two that I did. I don't know. But I assume that there'll be a bunch of different characters coming around. Oh, shit. Okay, no. Is that person dead forever? Loading level. What? Come on. Are you serious? Solid's quest. I saved it. I know I saved it before she died. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, like... Game's broken. You guys can confirm, right? Saved it before she died. Yeah, okay. So they're gonna... They're gonna keep her dead. There's nothing I can do. That's garbage, isn't it? I think so. Unless, am I doing something wrong? It's a different place. Load new game. What? <laughs> That's a weird... Isn't that a weird thing to say? Load new game? What about load game? But yeah, now you, now you need to wonder too, how do you heal yourself? Where do you go to the inn? But yeah, these guys are, guys are here all by themselves. The girl did die, so that that's too bad. Hmm. I don't know what to say. We could use a potion. I'm looking for a better option. Maybe, maybe it's like really brutal and, and like, you know, when someone dies, they're dead forever, no matter what happened. Maybe that's what's going on here. I'm thinking that's what it is. And you can't just load in settings. Let's look at this. Gameplay. How about C? Yeah, when a character dies, they're dead forever, man. Unfortunate, but... Well, that's too bad. Even if I... That's crazy. Even if you save, huh? I would have to imagine that very few people would get into this. Because... That's pretty hardcore, dude. You know? That's pretty hardcore. Son of Geed, Alchemist. Looking for an inn. But yeah, I think I'm going to miss out on this game, guys. I don't see myself going further with it. It seems like I could like it, but... I don't know. It's kind of maybe a little bit too much. 
just maybe too tough? Like, it's Darius. What's up, Darius? I couldn't even get rid of him for you though. I need I need to like So I just got a side quest. Uh let's go to the journal. You don't have any notes. Oh, you have to do your own notes? Wow. What? <laughs> what is going on? There we go, added my note. But yeah, I don't know, it, it it might be something, there might be something to it, but. Just a little bit difficult here. Where's a person supposed to sleep? So the map just lets you zoom out a little bit is all, huh. Interesting game. Maybe there's like a button where you can just rest outside. Kind of like in Baldur's Gate. I, uh... <laughs> How do you do that? Let's see. I, try, I pressed R. S. No. R was for rest, S was for sleep. So I don't see like a camp. C, that's character. Reform party. No, I don't want to remove a companion. So we only get five people. I don't think you can just sleep outside. So. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'd have to try this again or something. It's... It's pretty interesting. You know, I think I'm just gonna call it here. I don't really wanna play anymore. Go to the map. Maybe I'll keep this on the back burner, you know, and think about it some other time, but I'm just not really too curious, I guess, uh, about it. They kind of really turned me off with the uh, the whole thing about if, even if you save your character's dead, there's no ends. There's a bunch of stuff I could get here, but it's kind of a raw deal having to go after someone else's stuff, you know. So I'm gonna turn it off. If we ever do play this again, I'll probably start from the top. Maybe. But yeah, pretty much my review of this game is that it's not for most people. Even for a guy like me that likes Dungeons & Dragons, I like Baldur's Gate, I like all those fantasy type games, this one's a really tough one to get into. So, yeah, I don't know man. I would say, unless you really have some patience, which I do have patience, but gotta have a lot of patience to figure this one out, dude. Where am I supposed to sleep? Come on, you know? Where's the inn? I'm trying here, guys. There's no, like, tool tips. Like, come on, man. I, I can't see where any of the buildings are supposed to be. It's kind of a hardcore learning curve. This game just came out, too. And it's still so tough to learn. I don't know. I'm not to say they kind of did a bad job with this. So, especially because I saved my game. Name my save. My character died already, you know? She, she already died. That's what, that's a huge turnoff for me, too. Jacob, what's up? Yeah, local news. Yeah. I, I just want to go to an inn, that's it. That's all I want to do, man. Just got to turn it off, man. I'm done with it. Thanks everyone for watching. I wouldn't recommend trying this. I just showed you guys what it's all about. So that's about all I can say, guys. Take care, stay safe, 
and until the next time.